Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so you'll be reminded when I upload new videos. And I upload new videos multiple times a week. Today on Creative Glam, I am going to share with you my kitchen countertop vignette. All the items in this vignette I already owned. They were just items in other areas of my home. I collected them, put them together to share with you my current kitchen countertop vignette. So let's get started. This plate here is absolutely beautiful. I got it from Home Goods some time ago. It resides mainly here in the kitchen because it goes so well with the wall color and the accent pieces. This picture frame is a picture frame that I got from Joanne Crafts. It used to hang on the wall. I have since taken it down. And now I am going to use it as a tray. I often take picture frames and use them, if they're really nice picture frames, and use them as trays. And that's exactly what I'm gonna to do today. I did a vignette once before and I actually used a wall mirror. But today I'm actually going to use a wall painting. I purchased these margarita glasses from the Dollar Tree though. I don't even know if they still have them, but that's what they are. Margarita glasses from the Dollar Tree. You know me, it's always got to be two. Balance. Mini Kaloosh that I got from Home Good. That I got from Home Goods. It's moss in the bottom of these that look like dirt that I put in the bottom of a kaloche and then I added just one Gerber Daisy, the color of green, which kind of matches what's happening here in the corner. This item here, uh, this candle holder, I have two, of course, and they came from Home Goods, but I'm only gonna use one today. A faux candle. This candle here is a part of a set, a multi, a multi candle set that I got from Michaels. I used this in a previous video and I will leave a link to that video up above where I um, added just a little bling to them. Which looks better? You guys let me know down below, which do you prefer? Should I leave it with the two candles or should I just go back to the one in the center? This candle here I got from Target. Uh, it was a candle called Chestnut and Clove. I love the scent, it is perfect for fall. And I love the, um, the mercury glass vase that can be used over and over and over once the candle is gone. And I took that and put a topiary ball. And the topiary ball came from Home Goods. This mirrored photo frame came from the Dollar Tree. I got this, I believe, last spring. The Dollar Tree didn't have very many of them, but I walked into a Dollar Tree that is nowhere near my home. They had them. I purchased them all. <laughs> I sure did. I recently used some of these to make a mirrored tray. I will leave a link to that video up above as well. I also put a little quote in there. Family is where life begins and love never ends. I love that. And of course you remember my picks. I got these picks from, I can't remember if it was Michaels or Joanne Crafts, one of the two, but these are all throughout my home this year because I just went nuts when I purchased these and I love them. They are going to be a part of my decor for fall all the way through Thanksgiving. So these will be out till almost the end of the year. And this pumpkin here I got from Walmart. Um, I got a couple of them. One says blessed and the other says give thanks. I think they're very pretty. And that's it guys. We're all done. That's one of the things I love so much about vignettes. You can take a small area and transform it like that. You guys 
let me know down below what you think. One candle holder or two? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my kitchen countertop vignette. If you did, hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And again, I upload new videos multiple times a week. And on that note, thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll meet you right back here on Creative Glam. Bye.